ahead remembering the service of a world war two veteran a solemn ceremony was held overseas to honor the crew of a british sterling bomber that was shot down over germany during the second world war i'm mike walker coming up i find out what that dedication meant for two nieces of flight sergeant hugh coles mcmillan who had ties to the perry sound area Welcome back. This week we've been sharing stories about soldiers leading up to Remembrance Day. Tonight we have an update on the family of a World War II soldier from our region. Hugh Coles McMillan, who had roots in the Perry Sound area, was killed when the bomber he was in crashed in Germany. As CTV's Mike Walker explains, his family made a trip to the crash site where his service will now always be remembered. With every step the buoyancy grows, the procession of relatives nears the site where a family member died, the crash site of a British Sterling bomber shot down over Germany during the Second World War. Among the group, Elizabeth McMillan York and her daughter Charlie. To be with all the other families, it gave me a sense of happiness that he had his time with these fellows and that they seemed to be such a tight crew together. Their uncle, Flight Sergeant Hugh Coles McMillan, was the rear gunner on the bomber that was shot down on September 6, 1943. All seven airmen were killed. <laughs> the families were invited here in August for a solemn dedication ceremony by a local research group headed by Eric Veeman. His group had discovered hundreds of parts from the wreckage buried beneath a farmer's field. When I first found these plate parts, I knew I had to do something with it because People do not know what happened here, you know, uh, the families do not know. Eighteen family members from Canada, the UK, New Zealand attended, an opportunity to connect and reflect on their relatives. Talked about his family and the future that we missed out on. Made me feel a lot closer to him, somebody who I never met. A memorial stone with the crew's picture and names was unveiled at the site. It now stands as a permanent reminder of their sacrifice. Oh, I think it's very important that, uh, you know, when people die, yeah, and they die for a cause like this, you have to remember them, because I think they're heroes. I was just in awe of the vast kindness that they were doing, and the amount of energy that they were putting into remembering these young men. An experience of a lifetime. And it's going to make Remembrance Day a little bit more personal. I hope it makes people stop and think that war is really futile. Mike Walker, CTV News.